Salam sejahtera everyone. Penang wants to build LRT, light rail transit to form the backbone of public transport supported by FIDO buses. But there are some groups against the plan. They lobby for BRT, bus rapid transit, to be the backbone. The BRT system started in Brazil and later adopted by other countries like Colombia, China and Indonesia. BRT is different from normal bus. For normal bus, passengers pay after entering the bus. For BRT, passengers pay before waiting for bus, which makes embarking faster. BRT also uses dedicated lane so that buses are not stuck in traffic jam. BRT has many forms. Usually, it moves on the same road level with cars and motorcycles. But there's also BRT running on elevated road, such as Sunway BRT. BRT may be cheaper to build, but is it better, more effective than LRT? Not necessary. One of the world's largest BRT networks is in Bogota, Colombia, known by some as the world's most successful BRT. But as reported by Economist, Bogota's BRT has many problems. Overcrowded, long waiting time, and hugely unpopular. Even with dedicated lane, the BRT can still get stuck in traffic junction and exposed to accident risk. On average, there are six accidents involving BRT in Bogota every day. BRT lobbies claim that BRT can reduce private car usage, but cars in Bogota increased more than 150% from 2002 to 2012. All these problems contributed to the public riots that destroyed BRT stations. Even with the so-called world's most successful BRT, Bogota was ranked as the worst congested city in the world. But some group still insist to have BRT as the backbone of Penang public transport. To be fair, for BRT to be effective, it requires wide roads. When we look at content spread by BRT lobbies, we often notice only the dedicated lane. But if we take a step back to see the whole picture, we will notice that the optimal road space required for BRT is at least four lanes for two ways. BRT can be planned for new town like the Batukawan area. That is why there are proposals for BRT there. But roads on Penang Island are narrow, filled with many buildings. To build wide roads for BRT, Penang will have to demolish existing buildings. But that will increase land acquisition and construction costs, which make the BRT much more expensive. How about building elevated bus highway like Thunway BRT? That means build a highway just for BRT. That can be done, but it will increase the cost by billions. Just for the short 5km, the Thunway BRT costs more than half a billion. That's why BRT around the world have elevated track only at certain section, not the entire backbone that costs billions to build. Without widening road or building elevated BRT highway, the BRT system may be cheaper, but what is the point of having a cheaper system where BRT buses end up stuck in traffic jam? That's why the professor of city planning, Robert Severo, said that the BRT suffers in dense built-up areas. The LRT, on the other hand, run on elevated track, unaffected by congestion, unlike BRT that is affected in many ways. LRT accident is very rare compared to Bogota's BRT's average of six accidents every day. That's why the Professor of Transportation Engineering at University Science Malaysia, Ahmad Fahan Muhammad Sadula, said that the LRT provides better option for Penang. One more thing to consider is maintenance after the construction. Some newer BRT have its technology monopolized, making prices of spare parts dictated by the company. That means cannot get the parts from elsewhere but at the mercy of the company. Building it may be cheaper but bleed at maintenance. LRT on the other hand is an established technology with various suppliers making prices of spare parts competitive. LRT construction and maintenance costs are less volatile. The LRT is more efficient, environmentally friendly and safer. Even though it may be more expensive, but don't you think that Penang deserves a better public transport system?